Hello! My name is Navigator. In today's really quick video, we're just going to be going over the Atomic Shop this week, everything that was added, and then very briefly going over the weekly challenges. I'm kind of busy right now, but I do have another video coming out going over everything that was added with today's Milepost Zero update, so be sure to go check that out. We cover some really interesting stuff, but let's get into this. So, number one, let's pop into the Atomic Shop here, and I already I did a little cheating. I did actually look in here, and it is pretty awesome. So, for the most part, it seems like there was one new bundle that was added this week. Uh, like I said last week, there's a bunch of bundles that are in here if you're trying to, you know, catch up on some things. But we do have this bundle called the Wild Mountain Way Station Bundle. And it comes with this cow punch paint for the railroad rifle, or excuse me, the railway rifle. You can also see that here. It comes with the Jumpy Juice Company Tea Machine, which you can see here. A Brahmin feeding trough, which will definitely come in handy for our Fallout first item for this month. Uh, the wine barrel door and then we also have the wild mountain way station prefab which i am going to be picking up now because i don't really want a lot of the stuff in this bundle really just that trough there in the uh, the way station so let's grab this prefab we'll grab this feeding trough here and that's really it with everything that was new that was added there's a couple things here and there but for the most part that's really it and then we also get this free pack brahmin with fallout first again that is a fallout first item and then if we come down here to utility it should be Nuka-Cola Twist 1. Let's see. All right. So, yeah, there's that. What we're going to do really quickly is just go over those camp items, and then I'll finish by going over the weekly challenges. So, let me throw this down. I'm really excited for this, actually. This thing looks super, super cool. So, there is... Cannot workshop, but... Bruh. Hold on. Let me delete my massive... Let me delete some things here. I apologize, folks. I was like, oh, you know what? I'll just scrap one of my camps. And then, hey, you guys can hear me slamming my X and A button here on Xbox. But I was like, yeah, I'll just throw down a new camp. I'll be okay on the budget. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't even think about that. Look at that. 50 Bramble. Let's get rid of the rest of this stuff. How about that? Let's see. How big is this prefab? How big is this thing going to be? Let's see. Does that do the trick? Beautiful. Okay, so we have that. The Pack Brahmin. And then this feeding trough here, which is really cool. And then we'll just throw down this door here. All right. Beautiful. So there is that pack Brahmin here. Apparently he makes or they make uh, fertilizer. So this is a fertilizer stand, which is kind of cool. I'm curious, though, if he walks around or if he's he is he just stationary. Very interesting. But then this feeding trough, pretty much just cosmetic. Something you can throw down in front of this Brahmin or the other Brahmin that we already have available in the, uh, I think it's what? the resources tab if you guys don't know what i'm talking about if you go over here to resources and you throw down where is it where is it right here uh this fertilizer producer another brahmin will spawn at your camp so you can kind of have like a whole farm now you can have two brahmins at your camp which is really really cool so yeah there's that very interesting and again he makes fertilizer over time what can i put in it can i actually put things on him Kind of cool if you could store things there. But here we have the Blue Ridge Way Station. It seems like the, uh, what is it? It's like the Wildwood Bunker or something like that. Uh, that they kind of transformed and had some scaffolding around it. So on this bottom floor here, yeah, it's just going to be the, the Wildwood Den, I think it's called. Just a pretty simple room in here. We have seen this prefab before. But this door is really cool. And then it seems like they kind of just built on top of the prefab with these stairs on the side. This goes all the way around. I like this, because this was these kind of like roof or window flaps on the original prefab I thought was cool, because you can kind of put like generators or whatever here. But now that this is enclosed, you can kind of use these as shelves almost, which is really sweet. And this loops all the way around, and there is no third floor. But this is a really, really, really cool prefab. I can already see this going like right next to some kind of road or something. It would just fit in so perfectly. I just love how this looks. Definitely make a new camp with this, even even though I made a new Blue Ridge camp last night, but I love it. The sandbags here, the armored windows, the scaffolding along the side. I just think that this looks absolutely fantastic. What a great prefab. 700 atoms is also not that bad. That's kind of the running price for prefabs nowadays, so there's that. But let's move on to these challenges. So number one, here are the daily challenges if you wanted to pause the video now and take a look at that. Moving on to the weekly ones, though. 
Collect caps should be easy. You know, just sell stuff every day, collect pre-war food. My advice, go around to every train station around the map and try to find it. Collect purified water. My advice, go to people's camps and steal it. That's the easiest and fastest way. Collect right away or radex. Either go to the train station or just play events. Events usually give you those in multitude. Complete a mutated public event. Um, I'm not sure if those are going to pop up frequently. However, I do know that next week, or at least the week after, we are going to be having a mutated public event, kind of like seasonal event. So that will be cool. Cripple a ghoul's leg. Go to the White Springs Golf Club. There's probably like 30 ghouls that are there. Kill a super mutant. Head to Huntersville. You get a big chunk of that done. Like a best build camp. If you guys don't know what that is, it's a new aspect added with the uh, the Milepost Zero update. You can kind of see me cover that in the uh, a video I should have adjacent to this. But do you see how this camp looks normal? And then this camp kind of has like that blue effect on it. We can actually come here. And you can uh, fast travel, you can vote, you can do pretty much anything on this camp. So let's see, I'm going to like this camp. Gave it a like. And let's go to my challenges here, and you can now see... Where is it? Oh, like, oh, I, I, I don't know, but I showed you how to do it. I'm sure you tinker around a little bit more, and you'll be able to like four of those. And then scrap junk to produce bone. I'm, sh I'm assuming you guys already have a lot of bone. It's a pretty common thing. Just go to your uh, tinkerer's workbench, or sorry, take it out of your scrap box, and then just put it back in, and you'll have that done. So there's that, folks. But uh, yeah, pretty quick video. Um, sorry about the delay. I'm getting my camp budget in progress. Um, but yeah, I also have a video going over everything, or at least all the important stuff, in my opinion, that was added with the Milepost Zero update. So you guys can go check that out. But that was everything that was added with this week's weekly update for Fallout 76. As always, my name is Navigator. Have a nice day. Take care.